In today's video, I'm going to take you to some of the things that most stylish women do, but not the obvious things that you may think, that they have a classic foundation in neutral tones, that they love and fit them perfectly, and all of these things. You know all of that. What I'm going to emphasize today is more on an attitude and methods than anything else. But before we start, I'd like to really define what a stylish woman is. She's not just someone who has a great sense of fashion. And by sense of fashion, I mean to pick out great trendy items that everybody goes and say, that woman looks stylish. For me, a truly stylish woman is fashionably elegant and sophisticated. They look effortless because they develop methods and routines over time that sets them apart from someone who has just a good sense of style to someone who is a genuine woman of style. They have things in common that are easy to learn if we apply ourselves. And one of the most important things is planning. Successful people in general plan. We plan for everything, but sometimes we leave our wardrobes, which is one of the most important things to chance. So if you set some time apart just to make time to get dressed, especially in the morning when we're most pressed for time, so spare some time planning for the outfits you're gonna wear, for example, for the week. It could be any time frame, but do you actually plan ahead the outfits you're gonna be wearing for the week ahead, let's say? I hear what you're saying. But when you put some time aside for that, perhaps you look into your wardrobe. Remember all those times that you were pressed for time in the morning and you wanted to wear a top that you find out is in the laundry basket or underneath a pile of clothes all wrinkled. You get so disappointed and you end up having to pick up whatever you find first and compromise in the finding result. When you plan ahead what you're gonna wear, you have the time to perhaps find that something's got a stain on it or it's wrinkled and you need some ironing or even some quick alterations, hemming up or, or sewing back a button or something like that, just something small. And you have the time to envision how you want to look like during the week and, and pick the pieces, perhaps just put them aside, a little capsule wardrobe, so it gets easy for you to handle and to put outfits together in the last minute. Another reason why we should see everything we have is because oftentimes we go ahead and buy something that we forgot we already have in our wardrobes. The next thing, and for me, it's really, really important that most stylish women have in common is that they go straight to the source. And by that, I mean they watch runaway shows, not because they want to buy designer pieces, there's nothing wrong with that. And they don't get inspired by big influencers because they know that they get paid to parade around with certain pieces. So stylish women get inspiration from the artists and they adjust that and they adapt that to their lifestyle. They find similar pieces uh, that are way more affordable or they create an outfit, they design or they invent or they do something and they take it to a tailor to replicate that, to put their own spin or they visit vintage stores and find things that are similar, that are unique, that resemble the designer piece. They go through that trouble, which is not a trouble at all. It's quite fun actually, something very fun to do and they express their personality that way. The next thing that stylish women do is try, try, and try on. They try on everything they have because often we have pieces that we wear less. There's a reason for that. If you haven't worn something in a while, chances are that's because you're not feeling comfortable with that or it doesn't fit you anymore. So it's good to try on everything you have from time to time and make decisions about that piece. But another thing that is actually very good to do if you're going to a store, and I do that all the time, you go in store, take photos or better still, videos, and it's like seeing someone else watching a piece and you get more detached and you have a more informed 
idea if that works or not. It's the same with your old pieces. Your body changes. Sometimes the piece doesn't fit you anymore the same way or you just moved on from that piece. Give these pieces another chance and try them in different ways that you haven't done before and see how it feels. I think it's very important to pay attention to how it feels when you try something on has to feel great. If it feels less than great, I think it's a great indication that you moved on. So part ways with that piece, give it to the universe and somebody else is gonna benefit from it. That's a great way to think about the way we deal with our wardrobes. Keep the energy flowing and keep new pieces coming, but let go of some of them as well. That way your wardrobe doesn't swell so much. And I think that's a, a great way to exercise your creativity as well. Perhaps you try the piece when you don't have a lot going on on that day and then you spend the day in that outfit or that piece and you think how it goes, how it feels. And again, you make your decision and I think that's a better way to give your pieces a last chance. I think it's also important that you leave your wardrobe breathe. If it's too cluttered, it's not digesting. You know my view of your wardrobe corresponding to Feng Shui, the ancient Chinese technique. The wardrobe corresponds to our mind. If it's cluttered, so is our mind. So always make room for new, always let it breathe. You're gonna benefit from that. Stylish women pay attention to all the details. The devil is in the detail for sure. Really spare some time, especially before leaving the house and see, you know, have a look. Oftentimes we don't look in the mirror before we leave the house. And that's something that I always do. I always have the last look and I oftentimes take one piece off, like Coco Chanel, beautifully dictated. When accessorizing, always take off the last piece you put on. I think that's something that you have to ask yourself. Do I really need to wear the scarf and the statement necklace? There's always a point when it's too much and a stylish woman know exactly what that point is. Often the cut of your clothes and exposed neckline or bare arms is a great indicator in determining what jewelry or accoutrements to pair with it. They know how to style themselves according to their own taste. Honing on a signature look that you can rely on at all times. Something timeless and effortless that screams you. Whether it's jeans and blazer or head to toe black, find a style and make it yours. It will come very handy on those days that you have nothing to wear. For me, I always gravitate into white leg pants and a cute top. That's always my go-to outfit when I'm pressed for time and I haven't time to plan anything or something came up on the last minute. I find that too often people try too hard and wear something that doesn't feel good and compromise at the end. Instead, feel good about your style and recognize that if you don't, it's a clear sign that the missing element here is your lack of confidence. I think these are things that are easy to incorporate in our daily routine if we apply ourselves, like I said before. They're not difficult. They just take time. It's just putting the priority in the right places. And it can be fun. It doesn't need to be a burden. If it becomes a burden, then it's not the right thing to do. So it's mostly about having a look in the mirror and liking what you see. It comes with a little work. These women, they make it look very easy, but they have done their work. They have scrutinized magazines. They know the elements of style. They know what works for them. You have the benefit of having channels like this to guide you, or in there are so many others, stylists that are out there and are willing to share their knowledge. So that's not a difficult thing. The information is out there. What I really want you to do is look within and get inspiration, but at the end of the day, know how to translate to your specifics, to your coloring, to your, to your body, to your lifestyle, to your own taste. We are all different. We have different backgrounds, different body shapes, different colorings. We just have to learn to camouflage our little flaws and enhance our assets and translate our clothes, which is something very beautiful. That's how we express our personality. Somebody said that. It's one of the designers, I can't remember who said that. 
Clothes are the way you express yourself. I see the way we dress like an art. It's a piece of art. It's our own creation. We don't want to have a replica. We want to have the original. And it feels great to feel the original because we are original. I really hope you found this video useful and inspiring. And if you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel to get all the notifications for my future videos. As usual, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.